it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below taurus i'm getting like you're getting like a, like a, you have like a face off with someone you know clearly i'm getting that you and the person that you're dealing with you both made a final decision i think in the past year to go your own ways okay we have the judgment here in the past okay this is a final call a final decision okay but it could be a reconciliation but again this is something very very firm very very decisive that you were about okay with the six of cups in reverse as your overall energy i'm feeling that there's someone who's reminiscing the past okay someone who's just hanging on to the past or there's someone here who's just not being able to move on the six of cups in reverse is also someone who's holding a grudge okay or someone holding on to bad memories this could also be someone who you're dealing with who's had bad memories from another relationship that they had okay this is not someone this six of cups in reverse doesn't look like to me as the overall energy of someone who's probably you know uh, has bad memories within the relationship i'm getting this is someone who's holding on to what they went through in the past with in another relationship okay again could be childhood issues or could be someone who screwed them over okay that's what i'm getting right now with the two of cups in reverse okay there is a lot of love here between you and the person you're dealing with okay but there's a huge disconnection you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now with the clarifications we'll find out why in the near future i feel that there's still going to be a lack of you guys coming together okay you guys are just not going to be on the same page in the near future or this is just you there is probably a third party situation or there is a third person involving or interfering in your connection this would also be someone who's lacking the commitment or who's lacking that um putting on that hard work putting in that commitment investing their energy to get this relationship to build together okay someone's just this is a very one sided situation that i'm getting okay and uh, that could be one of the reasons why in the past we have the judgment here where someone made a final decision of going their own way okay what you see yourself doing is the nine of pentacles in reverse so i feel that there is someone out here okay who's very afraid of losing that independence there's someone here who is been single okay okay this is what i'm getting Taurus you could be dealing with someone who you wanted to have a commitment with or who you wanted to be in a serious relationship with this person and you there could have been a lot of love there is a lot of love between you guys okay but i think when it came to something serious that's when this person copped out and it could be all because they had past issues or they had relationships in the past where they where people just really screwed them over or where this person would have really been very vulnerable in the relationship and this girl or guy you know literally took their advantage took them for granted and hurt them okay this person is hurting really bad and they not be able to get over that past situation this is one of the reasons why this person is not being able to move forward to, towards you and give you that commitment or take your relationship to a high level of commitment and right now what you are doing right now taurus i think i'm reading for the cross watcher okay but again take it how it resonates right now what you are doing right now nine of pentacles in reverse this could be you or the person you're dealing with right take it how it resonates this is someone who's single they want to be in a relationship it's like almost like i'm getting this is someone who has everything that they have okay they they, they have the money they have the stability they have good relationships friendships family support etc okay but there's still something missing and what is missing is you Taurus or Taurus what you're missing is them you want to be in a relationship with this person you really love them a lot okay because we do see the two of cups in reverse here all right that means there is a lot of love here but you guys have a disconnection you guys are not on the same page with each other okay but this person out here Taurus if this is you you are afraid of losing your independence you are really not wanting to be into a commitment okay yes agree you love this person i'm not saying there is another person uh, involved here there's not another person involved here okay but again when it comes to getting that label getting that tag getting that tag to this relationship i don't think you're up for it the person you're dealing with in the 7 of wands in reverse here what i'm getting is that this person Taurus could have fought a lot for this relationship okay they really fought for this they probably were standing by their beliefs okay that you know what this is what they want and that's how they want it or they really fought for this relationship i'm getting this person could have literally had the entire relationship on their shoulders okay they literally try to protect this relationship is also what i'm getting but now this person has given up or or the other thing that i'm getting is that this person probably right now 
with the nine of pentacles in reverse it could also be someone you know who is uh, struggling financially also okay someone who needs to focus on their finances right now and who's just not focused on love relationships etc and just focused on their work and making their money also someone who's very insecure is also what i'm getting clingy needy insecure in your emotions i think you're very focused on your work you're very focused on your work uh taurus you're very focused on your money your career go your goals okay the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles okay pretty much says it all okay so what you're doing is this and in your emotions it's one step higher okay but both these cards say you're very focused on your career your money your goals your uh, your business job but you're very very focused on building your career is what i'm getting okay or you're not really interested into this relationship the person you're dealing with is the seven of wands in reverse here now i'm getting two stories either this person has given up on you okay they could have fought for this connection or they're just losing our hope and giving up on this connection or if this person was very guarded and defensive towards you then now their guards are down we'll clarify that's when we'll get into the real reading um in the likely outcome we have the king of pentacles in reverse with the queen of pentacles in reverse okay so we do have a true pair here from the same suit okay this is a true pair here what i'm getting here is that you're both mirroring each other you're focused on your working career so they're focused on their working career okay probably i'm getting that you guys both have parted ways for right now and what you're doing is you're both focusing on your own goals focusing on your work okay but there's one person here who's fearing commitment or one person here who's again uh feeling very insecure okay someone's feeling very jaded they have everything that they need but again at the same time they're feeling very insecure or this is someone who wants to be in a relationship or i can even get this is someone who's very codependent okay now for the six of cups in reverse for of wands yeah so this could have been what a family situation or a commitment probably things didn't work out between you guys what is the six of cups here in reverse why is the six of cups in reverse yeah with the sun here so i think there could have been kids involved okay or this could be a family situation or this could be a long term commitment okay that went south but i'm def definitely getting that with the four of wands in the sun here this person meant a lot to you okay you really wanted something really solid with this person or you had something very solid with this person okay you saw this person as your happiness your everything okay but something happened and you had to shut the door on this person's face which is why someone's holding a grudge but there has been a lot of grudge okay and this person is still clinging on to that what is the judgment why is the judgment here in the past eight of swords so yeah you could have made a final decision of releasing yourself from a situation that you felt very stuck tied and bound to what is the eight of swords Two of Wands in Reverse, yeah, because someone could have put you in a crossroads. Someone could have put you, uh, someone could have put you on hold for a very, very long time. And for you, it's like you know what? Now it's been a while. Now either you take a decision of moving things forward, or I completely cut things off. Okay, and I guess this person kept you stuck in this situation for a very long time, and they were not making a decision. They were holding off a decision, only probably fear of making a decision, or uh, uh, this person just wanted to stick to the safer choice and stay in their comfort zone. Okay. So because they didn't do it, you did it for them. Okay, this person could have taken a very very long time to come towards you uh, with a decision, or to come towards you with something correct or something stable. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Clear for the two of cups in reverse. Why is this in the current situation? Again, guys, if you if this is not happen, then there are chances that this will happen. Okay, because this is coming into the current situation. Depends on where you are in your storyline. Why is the two of cups in reverse here? Someone ended things. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I don't like saying zodiac signs because it doesn't really matter. I mean, people enjoy it. That's why. But otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Okay, it's the energies of the cards. So yeah, some something came to an end here. Okay, with the death here. What is this death? Yep, because someone was sick, tired, and fed up of waiting. Nine of Wands here. This is someone you could be dealing with who's very, very defensive towards you. Okay. or this is someone who had huge trust issues okay and you were fed up of convincing this person that things are going to be okay we're going to be okay i'm not going to leave you etc okay again see six of cups in reverse this is exactly what i was saying in the past uh, in the beginning of the reading someone's holding on and clinging on to bad memories 
from their past okay it could be this recent relationship or could be your relationship but i'm not getting this so much i'm not getting this so much because with the four of wands and the sun here you mean the world to this person this person wants to marry you this person sees you as their happiness their, their end all be all but it's only the six of cups in reverse is the only thing that is coming in between so yeah right now i think that there there is a breakup there was a breakup okay and someone ended things okay with the death here because with the nine of wands someone was just fed up this is someone tired battered wounded frustrated angry you know like enough how long am i going to hold on to this okay you could have come a very long way with this person Taurus okay this is like almost like the, at the end of the road okay with the nine of wands although there is this person here whoever's ended things has one more shot left okay this is someone with a little bit of more perseverance okay it's like i'm going to give this one last shot i don't know why i'm squeezing so much today it's the weather sorry guys so yeah there's someone here who's still ready to give this one last shot okay but yeah they're pretty frustrated and tired with the situation and that's why they ended things with this person with you or you ended things with them okay why is the three of pentacles in reverse why will taurus experience the three of pentacles in reverse in the near future okay the empress in reverse here there's a situation that's going nowhere there's a lack of growth again because you guys are just not being able to come together to the same page okay but with the knight of wands i do see someone rushing in i do see someone rushing in taurus they're rushing in to talk to you okay but i you know what i'm getting the knight of wands with the empress here taurus i see you as the empress here okay you're not wanting to feel this connection and this person's coming in with the knight of wands energy and that's something that's pushing you off or that's something that you're not going to entertain you don't want a knight you don't want a page you want a king all right and that's what you're looking for and still this person is trying to come in they're trying to live in the moment okay so this is someone again who could have been very in and out of your life okay in the past too okay and that's the same energy that they're repeating coming in the, coming into the near future and that's why i feel that there is again a lack of reconciliation a lack of you guys coming together on the same page because they're like all right let's talk about this let's see where this goes okay and you're like no there is no let's see where this goes okay there is either we're doing this or we're not okay and that's why i feel you're not putting in your energy you're not giving this person the amount of attention or you're not feeding or nurturing this connection anymore that's why you guys are still not going to be get, getting together because you guys are just not on the same page but they're coming in they're coming in with communication with message they're coming in they're very passionate about you there's a lot of chemistry okay this person has a lot of passion about you but that's not what you're about you're all about stability growth why is the 9 of pentacles in reverse Yeah. See now, this person wants to come in. Okay, they want to get the ball rolling. Okay, the brain. They're, they're, they're feeling very codependent on you. Okay, they're feeling very codependent on you. And this person, something's very destined and great fated is what I'm getting. And with the seven of swords, yeah, this person could be someone who's running away from their feelings. Okay, like I said, right? So this person could be someone you know who's running away from their feelings. This could be someone every single you know. So this person would come in. They would want that emotional fulfillment from you. They love you. granted okay but when it came to putting this relationship on a pedestal or putting this relationship to the next level of commitment that's when they start to you know roll back okay but this is someone you know who's again trying to again very deceptive trying to play games mind games trying to escape trying to uh, get the easier way out and when it comes to something stable they don't want to do it they don't want a commitment okay but yeah with the wheel of fortune it's destined they're still going to come in but all this because this person is very very codependent on you okay now they really want you they they have everything that they need but they're missing you and they want to find that missing puzzle okay and that's you they're coming in to make things right okay but still there is a lot of deception when they come in okay again i'm not getting that this person is cheating or lying it's just that when it comes to something solid this person is just not up for it again because this person is not in for a commitment they love you but when it comes to uh, giving a commitment or losing their independence okay they're not having it and that could be one of the reasons why in your environment you have the seven of wands in reverse your taurus so i either this could be you or this is the person you're dealing with in your environment what is the seven of wands in reverse six of wands in reverse so i have the six of wands in reverse 
queen of cups in reverse. In your environment, Taurus, you have someone who is emotionally unavailable. This is someone who is giving up on this connection because they feel neglected. They feel they're not getting the attention that they want from you. Or because something was, there was a lack of failure, okay? This relationship didn't come to fruition. This relationship is not going to the next level of commitment. Yeah. So what I'm getting is in your environment, there's someone who's giving up on a connection that's just not moving forward, okay? Which is where they're not getting the public recognition, okay? And now this person is emotionally shut off. They're being emotionally unavailable to you, okay? You could be dealing with a very overly sensitive lover, all right, okay? At the same time, this person could be very, very sensitive. This person was very, very compassionate once upon a time, okay? They only thought from their heart, their emotions, but this time they're giving something a very logical approach. They're not being as emotional, uh, towards the situation as they were before okay and it could all be only because you're very in and out in and out of this person's life okay you're escaping you're not giving an honest approach and this is what this person wants this person what person wants you to open up and take things to the next level which is not really happening in your emotions you have the queen of pentacles in reverse okay so i either this is you or this is someone you're dealing with who's in your emotions okay someone you're dealing with who you feel is very very focused on their work their career their Okay, like I said before, someone who's not paying heed to you. What is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's someone here who's resisting change. This is someone who's going back to the same patterns over and over again. Okay, someone who's making things even more difficult than it should be. Okay, this is someone who's going against the current. Okay. Someone who's not being able to move on is also what I'd say. What is the Six of Swords in reverse? Two of Swords in reverse. See, someone's not being able to make a decision. You're stuck in your head, Taurus. You're stuck in your head. You probably have a choice to make between two very unpleasant choices. Instead of opening your eyes and seeing things clearly, I feel you're getting even stuck. Even more stuck. Because the Six of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse, these are very contradictory cards, okay? This says someone who's stuck in a rut, okay? This is someone who is repeating a pattern over and over again because they don't want to change. This is someone who sees things clearly, okay? So it could be both ways. Either you're seeing things clearly, but you're still feeling stuck in this relationship, okay? With this person, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. Or this is you who's seeing things, who's seeing things very, very clearly, okay? You're being decisive finally. But again, you find yourself very, very stuck and going back to the same pattern over and over again, okay? So you'd rather focus on your work right now. What is the King of Pentacles in reverse in the likely outcome? One more card for the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I think someone's releasing a situation and just being very, very focused, okay? So, Taurus, I know you're dealing with someone who's non-committal, okay? And you could have tried a lot of times to work things out with this person. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, with the likely outcome, I feel that you're releasing someone who you were holding on to very tight, okay? You could have held on to this, held on to this relationship for a very long time, okay? Like, literally, like, trying to protect it, save it, Okay? But finally, I think you have a realization that this is just a relationship that's just not coming to fruition. No matter how much the investment, this could be like a bad investment to you. Or something's just very disappointing, okay? Over and over and over again. You could be dealing with someone with the King of Pentacles and there was someone who's very greedy with their energies, okay? Someone who's very greedy, someone who's very selfish, okay? They only want what they want from you. But when it comes to you, uh, when it comes to them giving you something, offering you something, that's when they cop out, okay? That's the kind of energy that you're dealing with again. Okay? So yeah, I do see you releasing someone, okay? But um, again, I'm getting out, out here, I'm getting two queens also, okay? I feel this and this queen is the same. It doesn't have to be, but again, I'm getting someone, you know, who's literally hurt because this person could have held on for a very long time, okay? And it was probably Taurus, you who had to make a this decision or this person had to make a decision, okay? Someone did not make a choice. Someone refused to move ahead with a commitment, move this relationship ahead. And that's why there's, that's when there's the split and that's why we have the death here because someone was just fed up, like almost at the brink of giving up. I, see, I do see this person coming in with the Knight of Wands here, okay? They're coming in with a message. They're coming in to talk. 
but I don't see you putting in the effort or nurturing or feeding this connection anymore. So that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this reading resonates with you.